In this video, we will be reviewing the SonaMatch module. The SonaMatch module can be used for real-time biofeedback of the speech spectrum, and more specifically, of formant values and the relationships between them. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. At the top left, you will have pull-down menu buttons, and directly below, you will have a toolbar with many commonly used functions in the program. To review the full features of the menu and the toolbar, please click on the help button at the end of the toolbar to review the instructions for use. Below that, you will see windows A and B, which I will review shortly. Sonamatch has three different display methods to display formant values. Real-time LPC window, real-time vowel chart, and real-time fast Fourier transform. These display methods can be accessed under the view tab in the menu. Real-time LPC response and real-time vol chart both use linear predictive coding, or LPC, to provide valuable estimates of the formant values. Let's begin with a real-time LPC response. Notice below, windows A and B automatically open to a real-time LPC response window when the module first opens. However, notice that in window A it says real-time LPC response female, and in window B it says real-time LPC response male. Under the View tab, when selecting Real-Time LPC Response or Real-Time Vowel Chart, it is extremely important to select the correct age and gender for the user to get the correct formant estimations. For myself, for Real-Time LPC Response, I will select LPC Response for Male. And as you can see, a new window opens up which states Real-Time LPC Response Male. To begin recording, you can simply press the Record button in the toolbar or press the F12 key. Then to stop recording, you can press the spacebar. For additional hotkeys and toolbar functions, pr please review the help menu or review our hotkeys and functions video. We will begin by recording a sustained vowel A. Ah. You will see that when I begin recording, the program will show me in real time the formant values with frequency on the X axis. Then when I stop recording, the program will show me its closest estimation of the vowel. Let's begin. Ah. As you saw, the program in real time was showing me the formant values with frequency on the x-axis. Then when I stopped recording, it showed me the closest estimation of the vowel, which in this case was a. Ah. You can then save this signal as a target template for future use. In the target menu, press create template or press control T, and you will see a red outline form around the signal. You can then go to target, save template, and save this template for future use. You can also change the color of this signal by going to SNM setup and changing the contour color, the IPA color, and the chart color. Now, let's go to view and do a real-time vowel chart. Again, it is extremely important to choose the correct age and gender for the user to get the correct estimations. We'll choose real-time vowel chart for male. You'll see when I select this, the vowel quadrilateral opens up. What this does is it plots the locations of the first and second formants in real time for a sustained vowel. It does so by plotting the frequency of the first formant in a linear scale on the y-axis and the frequency of the second formant in a logarithmic scale on the x-axis. You will see that when I begin to record and phonate a sustained vowel, plot points will begin to appear on the chart for the first and second formants for that vowel. Then, when I stop recording, the program will show me its closest estimated vowel for the last plotted points. Let's begin. E, U, A. As you saw, the program plotted the locations of the first and second formants of each of the vowels I phonated. Then, when I stopped recording, it showed me its estimation for the closest vowel for the last plotted points on the graph. You can also edit this chart by going on View and clicking on Open Vowel Table Editor or clicking Control e Take note that the vowels with a red dot on this table are vowels that are already on the chart. To add a new vowel, click on where you'd like to add it, click on the vowel that you'd like to add, and click Add. To remove a vowel, click on one of the vowels already on the chart and click Remove. Once you are happy with your vowel chart, you can save it for future use. You can then load it by clicking on View, Open Vowel Table Editor, and clicking Load when you want to use it in the future. Now, let's do a real-time Fast Fourier Transform. 
Here you will not choose for the age and gender. Here you will choose between a real-time FFT window for singing or for siblings. Let's do a real-time FFT window for siblings. Once I select it, you will see a new window open up. What this will do is it will do a spectral analysis of the voice characteristics in real time with the frequency on the x-axis in hertz and the energy in decibels on the y-axis. You will also notice that the frequency range has increased to over 8,000 hertz as opposed to about 3,000 hertz in the real-time LPC response. This is due to the fact that siblings such as s sounds have a lot of energy in the high frequency range. Let's record an example. As you saw, the s sound has a lot of energy in the high frequency range, thus it is skewed to the right side of this graph. You can also create a template in the same way as before by going to Target, Create Template, and you will see an outline around the audio signal, and then going to Target and Save Template so you can save it for later use.